Hello, fellow bug squishers, and welcome to this special bug fixing episode of our Raycaster series. There have been a bunch of common issues reported over the last six episodes, so I am hoping that this video will help round up most of them and get everyone up to date. Each issue and fix has its own chapter, so let's just jump right in and summarise what fixes are coming up. Fix number one is for the small player syndrome, all the way back from episode two. This is where only the top half of the level is drawn and makes us look really small, or the level is towering above us. Fix number two is for when only one type of entity appears in our game, even when we should be seeing nanos, franks and even collectibles. This was since episode four. Fix number three is for the mysterious extra entity bug, where this mysterious entity we didn't add would appear in our level. Fix number four is for entities clinging to the edge of the screen. Yeah, I don't like that. Fix number five, help, my walls have turned into sprites. Looks amazing, but just amazingly wrong. And finally, fix number six, for those who want more than nine entity costumes. More of a feature request than a bug, but we'll cover that quickly here anyhow. So those are the ones we're going to fix today. Let's get bug squishing. Fix number one is for the small player syndrome. This problem has been reported to me many times since episode two, and this is where the level's walls appear to only come halfway down the screen. It makes it feel like the player is really small, but it's a simple fix. In the Raycaster sprite, under the single ray script, the cause for this is that you've probably used a change y by block in here when drawing your line, and with good reason. After all, that's often how we do things but in this case I sneakily used another set y2 block, a set block, not change. A pen line will always draw between the previous and new position, and you don't need to use a change for that to happen. Check it out. There, splendid, our walls are drawing as intended. Oh, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Fix number two. When all entities are showing up with the same costume. Yep, all nanos, franks, and even collectibles appearing as nanos. This was since episode four, and this one was my bad, sorry, so unless you caught my fix posted in the community tab, then you will be wondering what you did wrong. I am so sorry. So what did we miss? Click into the pen sprite. If we look at the draw row script, here you can see any type less than 10 represents an entity. That is a costume to be stamped. But if you look at the stamp script, you'll see we omitted to switch the sprite's costume before we stamp, so we only get one type of entity costume showing up in the game. No problem, before we position the sprite, switch costume 2, and we pop in the same type variable. Smashing the green flag, and there you go, so simple. You can see the collectibles, nanos and franks are now all present and correct. Fix number three is for the mysterious extra entity bug, or the dummy entity. Some of you have noticed a mysterious entity showing up in your game and it doesn't move, and it can be seen to switch costumes erratically. Yes, there it is, can you see them? When we coded our entity sorting scripts, we stuffed a blank item, a dummy value, into the list to initialise it. This blank entity was needed to simplify the sorting code, but the blank row is now showing up as a naughty random costume. Hmm, the fix is just to get Scratch to ignore the blank dummy value. In the pen sprite, add an if to the top of the stamp entity script, checking if the type is the blank value. And if it is, we use a stop this script to avoid painting it to the screen. Testing that now, and the mysterious entity is nowhere to be found. Great stuff. So on to fix number four. This is for when entities cling to the edge of the screen. This one is annoying to see too, especially with the bigger entities like Frank. You can sometimes see their costume clinging to the edge of the screen even when they obviously should be fully off screen. This is just Scratch doing what Scratch does as it tries to stop sprites going off the screen. We can fix this again under the stamp entity script in the entity sprite. What happens is we ask Scratch to position the sprite at X, but instead Scratch places it so that the sprite is still just on screen. Hmm, well that means the X position doesn't get set to the value we asked it to. That makes for a reasonably easy fix though. Surround the set brightness and stamp with an if check. Then use an abs block to flip any negative differences. And then subtract the X position from the X variable. That gives a difference in position. 
and check whether the answer is less than one pixel away. Job done! Now the sprite will not be stamped when it goes off screen. Fix 5. Help! My walls have turned into sprites. Woohoo! This is a good one. I know a number of you have been getting this bug, and it looks really funny, and it's really easy to explain. In our Raycaster sprite, under the single ray script, we have entered the wall colours as numbers in the draw blocks, here and here. Now, if you've used any number less than 10, then I'm afraid, rather than being a nice red colour as you probably intended, we get entities appearing instead. But because colour hues are cyclic, all we need to do is add a 101 to the desired colour. And hey presto, we get our red colour back. No more random, glorious repeating entity craziness. So finally, fix number 6, for those who want more than 9 entity costumes. This is more of a feature than a bug fix. If we come into the pen sprite, you can see that we are only treating types less than 10 as entities. But this limits us to 9 different entity types, or costumes, to be stamped. So what if we want more? Well, no problem at all. We can boost this number up to 100, giving us 99 entity types to play with. The downside of this is that we must make sure to add 101 to all our colour values that are less than 100 in the Raycaster sprite when we're using the draw block. Cool! Well, that's all the fixes at this time. I'll watch the comments and try to pick up any other issues that come up a lot. But for now, get yourselves up to date because the official episode 7 is also in production and will be out shortly. I'm so excited for it. We're finally getting texture mapped walls into our Raycasters. Amazing! Come on! If you are as excited as me and want to catch it before everyone else, then do consider joining the Early Access membership. Not only do you get great perks and early access to my videos, but doing so also directly supports this channel and helps me to make more of these awesome videos, so win-win! Please smash the like button if you've enjoyed this video or want to keep this series going, and I'll see you all very soon. Have a great week ahead and scratch on, guys!